right, welcome to uh, your iPeer tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create courses. When you first log in, you'll see this, that you do not have any courses. Uh, that's because you need to create them. So if you click up here on the courses tab, you'll see no results uh, pop up down here. Uh, so you come over here and click on add course and this little menu will pop up. It's very simple. Uh, you just fill out the information uh, for the most part. Uh, you start by giving yourself a, a give, typing in your course, uh, your course numbers, your course identification. Uh, I'm just creating a fake course here, APHI 100, and I'm going to call it Intro to Philosophy. Um, and then I come down and I add instructors. Now, even though I create the course, I have to add myself as an instructor by selecting myself from the menu and clicking add instructor. Now, if I selected the wrong person, I can click this X and remove that person. Uh, but otherwise I need to add myself and anyone else that I want as an instructor using this method. Down here, you'll see tutors uh, and you can use the same method to add tutors if you've created tutor users, which we'll cover in another tutorial. Uh, but for right now, it's not, not all that important, and I generally don't recommend adding them anyway. Uh, here you can make your course active or inactive, which is, again, something covered in another tutorial. Uh, select your department as one. Uh, that's not something we use at UAlbany, so it's always going to be one. And here you have the course homepage. You can uh, type in whatever you want here, basically. Uh, if you have a particular site like lore or um, I don't know even if it's Facebook or if you go and create uh, your own personal web page and you have information for your courses on your personal web page uh, whatever that is you can uh, type that information here it's not required so feel free to leave it blank uh, I think just about everyone does anyway so then uh, when you're done with that you simply come down here and you click save All right, so there you can see that your course has been created. Uh, you can see your course number and your course title listed here. So now you know how to create courses in iPeer. Follow that model to create any and all courses that you create. Uh, if you click on the title, um, you can see your course homepage, which is where we'll pick up in the next tutorial.